Hello everyone, HW Central here with another rip and roll video. Today we're going to finish out the 90s, get into the early 2000s. So let's get going, let's get a few cars. I'm uh, going to start out in 1999, 1998, excuse me, 1998 with the 1999 first editions, uh, what is this, semi-fast, pretty large, pretty large casting there. A bunch of dust on these things here. These are older ones. Wow, this thing's pretty big. Uh, looks like metal base, full plastic body. But man, that thing's huge. Check it out. It was manufactured a little. I don't know if you can see it's a little tilted there, but yeah, pretty cool. Tempos are all in good shape. Little nip there. One got a huge plastic engine and a port for a trailer. Oh, let's see how it rolls. Not. No, well, yeah, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't want to roll all that straight, but it goes pretty fast. So there's that one. Got still in 1998, probably for the 1999 series as well. The Avis Quattro. I believe it's Audi Avis Quattro. I really like this. That chrome. I mean, that's pretty sharp. Pretty darn sharp. Yeah, plastic body. Or, excuse me, metal body, plastic base. Wow, look how, you can tell it's old. That's, yeah. ooh, man, that thing, that thing rolls nice. Okay, next, 1998, a Jeepster, first edition. Pretty cool for the 1999 first edition, but years is 1998. Oh man, that thing looks nice. A metal base, it looks like, with a metal body and a little bit of plastic on there, but wow. Little Hot Wheels logo, twin exhaust there on the back, open, look at that open roof, look at that, I'm pretty cool or what, yeah, pretty nice, see how, oh, man, that might, that's smooth, that might make a good track car, okay, 1999 first editions again, still 1998, the Phaeton, Volkswagen, you know, actually made a Phaeton luxury car for a little bit. Packaging. Metal body, metal base. Is that detachable? Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Check that out. It's my first car with a detachable roof. You can see the interior in there, which kind of is bent back. It's like the dash has collapsed a little bit in there, but yeah, metal body, metal base, detachable roof. Pretty cool. Doesn't roll straight, but it looks good. Okay, that's it for 1998. Now we move into 1999. First one, virtual collection, spit and image. 1999. Hmm, some sort of code. See that? I don't know what that meant. Plastic base, metal body, dual plastic. Which a lot of plastic on this. Those headlights go through, so that's all one molded piece. Exhausts are cool, but yeah. Not not quite my style, but man, that thing would be a great track car too. It rolls really good. Okay, I kind of like this one. Turbulence, turbulence, turbulence. Nineteen ninety nine. It's another one with those plastic inserts. I like those because it kind of protects the paint. Oh yeah, those cool looking little tempos. This thing's kind of okay. I like this. A metal base, metal body. Wow, that thing looks 
pretty sharp. Doesn't roll all that straight. But man, look at those rims when they're rolling. Those look cool. Okay, turbulence. I'm not a fan of those five hole rims, but those do look cool. Now we're getting into 2000, new millennium here. We've got excessive, excessive year 2000. Okay, I've been curious about this one because it's such a big, big casting. Okay, wow, check that out. And that, look at that. I don't know if this would work on those like twist tracks or what, but that man, you could crawl over some stuff with that. That thing, metal base, that's, is that metal or plastic? I think that's plastic body, full plastic body. It's, it's really light to be as big as it is. But yeah, obviously this one's gonna roll like crap because it's a twisty body. Another one I kind of like, Honda Sprocket. Kind of a little concept truck, kind of maybe a rigid concept, 2000. Wow. Uh, half metal, half plastic. Uh, metal truck bed there. Plastic base, and the upper part's plastic, but this lower is metal. Yeah. Man, that little thing rolls really well, too. Okay, what do we got next? Still in the year 2000, Lotus Esprit. This one, or excuse me, Lotus Project M250. This one will probably go in my personal collection. I like my Euro cars. Lotus, ooh, man, that's sharp. Look at that. Look at that. Let me check out that cool little green Lotus emblem there. Plastic base, metal body, man. Wow, it rolls. Rolls well enough. Yeah, probably not gonna win anything on the track, but man, it does roll. Does roll very well. Okay, and next we have another Phaeton uh, from a different, different package, still year 2000. Ooh, knocking around everything here. Check out this Phaeton. Look at that. Man, those are some cool, cool graphics. I like these big metal. I mean, yeah, that's part of the base there, that metal base. So that's a big chrome, or not chrome, but silver. Wow, look at that. Look at that. And it looks like those tempos are broken, but that's actually a mold line uh, for the hood. That new looking, all those years in the package still looking, looking good. See if this one would, yeah. This one pops off as well. Look at that purple interior. Dash on this one's pushed back too, so maybe they were like that from the factory. Wow. Let's see if we can get this roof back on. Yeah. Rolls smooth, not fast, but smooth. Oh, I'm running into my, running into my Lotus. Okay, now we're jumping up just a little bit to 2004. 2004, and this was the Track Aces. So hey, this one might be fast. Track Aces, and this is Speed Blaster. I know they, I think I've heard race crews say this name a few times, so this must still be being made speed blaster look at that plastic you know we're into the into the mid 2000s now uh so we're getting up to them 2004 so we're definitely into that era where we're all going to be probably plastic base metal body but yeah i mean pretty nice looking look at that that's pretty cool that hot wheels tempo there yeah it looks pretty good yeah that that would be a good track car i think uh Probably be really, really good track car. And next, still in the 2004, oops, up here. Still in the 2004 uh, years. This is a 2004 first editions, the Phantom Racer. Phantom Racer, wow, that's pretty cool looking. 
So let's see how it looks out of the card. Wow. That is sharp. You can see the Hot Wheels there. That plastic spoiler, but this again, plastic base. Metal body. This is plastic. These side fins are plastic, but this is metal. This wouldn't work good in boosters uh, because of the recess there, but man, this may be a... Yeah, that's a smooth roller. That might look good on the... or work well on the track. And finally, uh, to round up this, we're going to end up in 2005. And we're going to end up with this Whip Creamer 2 uh, White Heat. So this one looked kind of cool, and I was curious if this roof popped off like it did on the Phaeton. So uh, let's see. Looks pretty sharp, man. I really, I like... I've always been a sucker for any kind of a, like this is a pearl, almost a pearl white paint. Plastic base, uh, looks like that's metal, as long as well as the body, that might be plastic. I don't know, it looks metal, but uh, yeah, that's, I think it's plastic. I think it's continued part of this, but man, that thing looks pretty good. Let's see if, nah, I don't think that comes off. I can lift it up here in the back. Yes, yes, it slides out. Whether intentional or unintentional, it uh, it does, it can be moved. Looks like it's just some tabs there. And I don't wanna break it, but oh, well, if any of you guys know, you guys, if anyone knows if this actually comes off, let me know. I'd like to see if this comes off, because at the least, maybe give it some, change some aerodynamics there, but. If you can see down in there, it's got this cool little fan blade looking thing uh, down in there, which would look really cool if this would come out. Nah, I'm scared I'm going to break it. But uh, check it out. I mean, that. And then, pretty cool. And plastic base, whipped creamer too. This is 2002, but on the card, 2005. Look at these red, little red rims on these wheels here yeah that might be a good booster car rolls pretty good there but that's going to be it for this rip and roll we've got uh this is again what was this 1998 up until 2005 and uh, some of the cars i got from paul wooten but thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and have a great day. Okay, just wanted to throw this Jeepster on the turntable really quick because, man, that thing looks sharp. Probably keeping this. I've got a buddy, like I said, that's a Jeep fan. I was thinking about giving it to him. I don't know, but kind of liking it. Looks really good and also... Aside from the Jeepster, you know, this Lotus, this dev, oops, stay, is definitely something that I'm going to keep. Uh, kind of looks more canary yellow. It's kind of more of a darker yellow uh, than it shows up here on, on camera. But yeah, a Lotus M250, I think it was, really like this. Don't even know if that was a real car, just a concept, but man, that thing looks sharp. Check it out. Right hand drive. Yeah, like that. But again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Okay, yeah, just wanted to throw this. Ah, don't jump.